tell us what has this NCL experience been like for you? Have you been to uh, Dallas or Texas before? This T10 format, what are the different kind of skills that you need for this kind of game to excel in? Yeah, it's been awesome. Obviously, we all know the wicket would have been better if it was, you know, flatter and the lights a little bit higher. But I think what the tournament did for cricket and I mean in the US was was amazing in terms of getting people together, trying to bring it into the universities, um, trying to grow the game of cricket in, in the US is, is is outstanding. And you, you saw it tonight, like the, it was full, yeah. You know, it was packed. You know, we were in a. I came to watch the first game without playing. And I was in the VIP, obviously, but the rest was packed, and it was it was amazing to see that people trying to buy into what you know NCL trying to do in order to grow the game of cricket in, in, in the US. So, have, have you been to uh, Dallas or Texas before? No, this is my first time. And, what was and, the experience and, like? Oh, amazing! Uh, I've had my family over the last sort of week, and we've gone and watched all the sports. It's been amazing. From you know, you play T10, you done and dusted, and then you go out, yeah. and you still got time to go and see past Dallas and, and, and see what the sports you know we've gone and watched NBA you know NFL you know we, we didn't manage to watch the NHL but we'll get there obviously next yeah. year hopefully but yeah. you know it's been amazing and I think the, the standard cricket has been amazing and some really good players and you, you saw the two best teams yeah. you know toe for toe out there today so yeah unfortunately for us we weren't in the, in the final but you know that's that's cricket and you, you win or lose it yeah, so that's it tell me what you think about say the T, this T10 format like 10 overs compared to say T20 how does it compare what are the different kind of skills that you need for this kind of game to excel in it it's hectic I tell you what it's hectic it's like you know you as a batter you you want to go out there and try and express yourself on the game and in T20 sometimes you can you can face a couple of dots or even if you face a maiden over in T20 it's not too bad but in this format of the game you face two dots you feel like you're under pressure and you need to go so yeah it's it's rocks or diamonds you, you are there as a batter you go hard and you and you score runs or you or you don't and I think if, as a batter if you if you're really focusing on the outcome you can get really get low and, and up and low and but if I suppose for me and, and a couple of other players around this tournament who's a bit more experienced can sort of ride those highs and lows a little bit better then then it's all good I think when you look at some players that are coming and trying to find their feet they can some of them have a chat to you at breakfast the next morning and go oh man how do you go about trying to yeah. you know trying to find your feet and T10 it's like well, you can't you got to just go out yeah. try and hit the ball for four or six and if it is it's your day it's your day if it's not unlucky you got to go crack on to the next one will you be back next year in the tournament if you're well I hope so yeah. you know it's been amazing like obviously you see what tonight had you yeah. know in, in yeah, store yeah. for everybody so you you're know. excited about NCL you think it's a great it oh, has a great future great concept I think you know like T10 you know I suppose it's a few players and T10 is, it's a hard game mentally and trying to get yourself up where every game's coming but if we can try to get the wicket great and, and, a, and a flat you know get the lights a little bit higher make this you know the, the standard of cricket here is unbelievable and you know we've seen some really good local players that have, that are from the universities local universities that are really pushing themselves I think that's the key because you know I've got young kids as well that from New Zealand if they don't make it in New Zealand they they might have an avenue in the US to come and you know try and study and try and get a university degree and if they get a scholarship then save us money yeah <laughs> thank you so much cool. colleague